Hey, it's Travel Gigolo and we're in Addo Elephant National Park for a quick recce mission. One of the great things about Addo is its location. It's relatively close to Port Elizabeth, which of course is a large city with an international airport. The nearest gate is just 35 kilometers measured from PE Airport, but if you want to go to the main camp and reception area, that's about a 70 kilometer drive and takes approximately an hour if you measure it from Port Elizabeth Airport. Besides the elephants, this is the only big seven national park in South Africa. So that's a big five, and you get whales and great white sharks in the marine protected area. So this park is famous for its elephant population. There are over 600 elephants in Addo Park. The famous Harpura Dam is possibly the best place to see the elephants. You'll typically find numerous herds of elephants coming to drink and play in the water, especially in the really hot part of the day. It's important to keep in mind that these are large wild animals, the largest terrestrial animals, and so you've got to respect their space. Harpura Dam is named after one of the park's legendary bull elephants. So Harpura reigned for approximately 24 years in the early years of the park and was particularly known for his aggression to humans. The name Hop Ore comes from a nick in the elephant's ear, which was believed to have come from a hunter's rifle, and that is possibly why that elephant in particular was so aggressive. Although Ada was initially purposely developed to protect elephants, it has become of course a large national park that focuses on holistic conservation. So you'll see many species of animal that are native to southern Africa, lots of good birding as well, and a really beautiful landscape too. There's certainly no shortage of both diversity and abundance of wildlife. There are a number of viewing decks as well as a bird hide. The viewing deck right at the main reception area of the main uh, entrance area is really great. There's both a platform as well as a recessed viewing area that's pretty much at eye level with the dam in front of it. So Addo Elephant National Park is the third largest park in South Africa. And so it's quite a vast area which requires a few days of excursion and exploring if you really want to experience it in full. It stretches from the Cape Fold Mountains in the north all the way down to the ocean shore where there is a marine reserve area. So in terms of facilities, there is a restaurant at the main camp entrance as well as a fuel station. You can get your basics at the shop that's there as well. It's fairly well stocked. And there's also a picnic site within the park which is quite well organized and there's a number of different picnic spots where you can bry as well within that area. Besides the picnic area at the main entrance, there are also picnic areas within the park itself. The information center is definitely worth a visit. It has a lot of information on the park and its history, as well as the history of the wildlife and the people in the area. There are both tarred and gravel roads in the main section of the park, and all of these are accessible by a normal sedan road going vehicle. At the time that we were there, these roads were very well maintained and in good condition. The main rest camps are close to the reception area. We didn't stay there, but we did go around to have a look at them. The campsites are large and the facilities look really good. Shade, however, is quite scarce. So Ad is a really great park to visit. Just for a day visit, it's fantastic, but I think for an extended stay, it's even better. We're here just for a one day recce mission in the main area that is, and we'll definitely be back for a longer stay. I hope this has been informative and will help you to plan your trip to Addo Park. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button and also please subscribe. Also have a look at our episode of the Mbubu campsite, which is where we stayed when we were visiting Addo. That's a very rusty campsite and a really nice place to stay, but it's not in the main section of the park, so check that episode out.